Happy Thursday traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. The indices opened at the highs of the day and have been slowly fading the gap as the fox in the business media sliced and diced the Trump tax proposals. There isn't anything surprising in the news but it is a news event that helps to trigger some volatility. Much of the rally since the election of Donald Trump has, been, and let's get to the, back to the daily chart of the S&P 500, has been of course being justified by hopes that tax reform, especially corporate tax reform, would be passed now that Republicans are in control. We got a little bit back from that hope yesterday and after the market feed the gap, let's get back to the five minutes chart time frame. We saw a full recovery as the computerized algorithms and D-bars annoyed the bears, as always I have to say. What really stands out yesterday is the relative strength in the Russell 2000. This is the IWM, the ETF that tracks the, the small caps. The small caps have been out, outperforming for a while, but they are up a hefty 2% yesterday, just compare that with a gain of 0.4% in the S&P 500 and 0.25% in the Dow Jones. So small caps are sensitive to tax reform and that is the reason for the outperformance. Alright, so if yesterday we talked about the fill and drop tactic, uh, yesterday was a perfect example of the exact opposite tactic, fill and bounce. I have to tell you, we nailed it on that one yesterday. Our trading plan I outlined here in the Wall Street preview was just executed perfectly word by word. We saw from the strong opening yesterday an early sell the news reaction. Now the thing that is most notable about the market continues to be the lack of volatility. There just isn't any strong reaction to news flow and where there is some movement on the headlines it tends to be cancelled out very quickly by computerized algorithms, by computerized trading. Any dip is bought almost immediately and while there is an upside bias to the action, the pockets of momentum have narrowed considerably. The birds have been searching a sell the news event for very long time and constantly have been disappointed. We all knew the birds were looking for the tax policy announcement to be a negative catalyst yesterday, but this is not the way the market is working these days. We know as market players by now that we must stay focused on price action. You know, just because a sell the news event seems logic doesn't mean it will work. Indeed, the computer algorithms seem to feast on simple logic that causes marketplace to be bearish. When there is even little sell pressure, the computerized algorithms and deep buyers are jumping in and driving stocks all the way back 100% plus recovery. So we have a gap up about one and a half hours into the trading day. The gap is being closed as you can see here. Just look on this beautiful hammer, beautiful. Now, Think for a minute on the short traders. This is a group that bet the previous day on a gap down. They are entering the day with a huge, huge disappointment that here we have a strong open, not a weak open. So now part of them are just trying away. They can't absorb the loss they see in their account, but I would estimate at least half of them, especially the seasoned ones, are staying with a type a tight stop just over the high of the market. We all know that uh, a gap can also be closed and it's not only a situation of a gap and go. So there is a chance the market will fade the gap. This is exactly what happened later. As the market slided down, their big minus in their trading account that they saw early in the day just got less and less meaningful until the zero line. Let's just put a line here at the zero line. This is the closure of yesterday's price action. So, so at the zero line level, all the short traders that suffered big pain since the start of the day are coming back to life. 
All right, and they have now an opportunity of their lifetime. Get the hell out of the city trade without being punished for your stupidity. All right, who won't take that? <laughs> so as you all know, for you know, sh for, for the short traders, um, in order to close a position, they need to cover it. He, uh, they need to buy, and that what drives a bounce near the zero line after a gap closure. And, and, and this is the phenomena why we see this bounce a, a, a around a zero line after a stock or a, a specific security or a market is closing the gap. And that, so that w w what drives uh, the bounce uh, back. Me and my traders just went long here above this hammer just at the zero line knowing there is also a good chance we are joining the computerized algorithms who are programmed these days to buy any dip what a huge recovery what a huge long on the spy by the way you can also use the upro 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 just the three times the movement of uh, the spy what i call juicy etf <laughs>right let's take a quick look on a couple of big movers um, yesterday we talked in the Wall Street preview about the Chinese IPO that is going to start and what a huge trade we had on that one it was RIB RYB huge success we can circle on that one it just popped tens of percent as it started so don't go anywhere because today we have on the deck another two IPOs, Knight, N-I-T-E, and DCPH. Let's start with DCPH. Decifera Pharmaceuticals is a biopharmaceutical company developing drugs to treat cancer. The company believes its products cut off the ability of tumor cells to thrive and spread. The company is going to raise $127 million going to these IPOs with big underwriters like JP Morgan and Piper Jeffrey. So we are going to put DCPH on our uh, screens today. The second one is Night Night Star Therapeutics coming all the way to Wall Street from London. This is a pharmaceutical company working on the development of retinal gene therapies for patients suffering from rare inherited retinal diseases that would otherwise lead to blindness. We are going to put these two IPOs on our screens and we are going to trade it according to a special technique. I teach my traders the art of trading the first day of an IPO. We have end of the quarter window dressing at work which should help keep a bid under the market so i have a bullish bass for today's trading but as always don't let any pandit with good arguments to convince you the price action is what matters thank you all for watching have a great trading day and i'll see you in the next video